Namaste, welcome. The moment you worship something, you become inferior. You see? The moment you worship something means there is some sort of table setting. You're not at the head of the table, you see. You're looking from some other place in the table at the head to some superior being. And again, the misinterpretation from past Christ, past Buddha, past Shiva, past Ramana, all these Ram have said nothing about superiority. God, Brahman, Absolute, Grace, it may be superior. But the ones who speak about it do not pretend of superiority, of certain place settings. So the moment you worship something, you have some sort of journey, a climb, ascendance to get to that place of equality. When you worship Christ, worship Christ, you see, when you worship Christ, you feel there is a you that has to get as near to the way that Christ behaved, to all of Christ's methods, ways, his whole being. Why can I not be like Christ? Means you you have work to do. So it's kind of blasphemy towards anyone who worships any other. Because you are ridiculing what they are saying. You're equal. Christ really did not say, I am son of God. His words were, we are children of God. See? There's so much people who want to make something from something. The core of the Bible is of most important significance. It's beautiful, it's pure love, it's core, it's intention. But the words, suspect, suspect, not untrue, but suspect to the individual who sees their own way of seeing. Christ did not say that there is only what my way of seeing. There is only the way of seeing of God. See? So when you follow Christ, you're following a path of some reflection, but a unique genetic individual. Overcome this fear of being insignificant, inferior. When, if you end up on the cross, on the crucifixion, what are you going to say? I am better than Christ. No, you're going to say I'm equal. Yeah? Yeah? There is no superiority. No saints advocate this superiority. There's a stepping stone to God. There's only one step to God. And Christ had to take it. 
Buddha had to take it. Ramana had to take it. Shiva had to take it. But there's no steps to Christ. For God's sake, he gives you words. And you say, yeah, but I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You know, I didn't follow the Ten Commandments. I only followed nine. You know, so I can't take Christ's words. So I can't do what this popsy guy says and go through me and take Christ's words. My God, it's Christ's words. He is far superior. He is superior because he faced up to the whole world. Every day you face up to the whole world. I don't want to go to work. But you do. So you face up to not going and you face up to going. Brave. Both ways are brave. Can you not see this? You are brave when you go to work and you are brave when you don't go to work. Either way, you're going to face some sort of judgment. But that's another direction. Overcome Christ. Overcome the fear of Christ. Overcome that Christ is something superior and special. And you become his friend. You see? A friend has no superiority. A brother has no superiority. A sister, no superiority. A neighbor, no superiority. Everywhere we go as human beings, we say, you know what, I'm not special. I'm the same as you and you and you. But Christ, my God, whew, I'm doomed if I say that. No one says they're superior to this Godhead. No one says they're equal to this Godhead. Because united, we're equal. Individually, as a body and mind, grain of sand to Godhead. I love Christ. I adore and worship Christ. But I adore and love and worship myself. Not my body and my mind, myself. Same way as I adore and worship and the same frequency, same energy, my wife, my child, my children, my grandchildren, my neighbors, like you. I see no difference between Christ and you, Buddha and you. I see no difference in anything that appears in form. Does God appear in form? That's the question, you see. What am I going to do if I see God? If God appears in form, you're not going to worship it. It's going to be equal. The one that does not appear in form has to be superior. Yeah, It has to be superior. I don't have to show myself to you. I don't have to do anything to prove to you, to justify to you, to make your life better than it is. I gave you breath. I gave you earth. I gave you food. I gave you each other to confide in and compassionately be kind to. You choose to do otherwise, you see. And you think I'm going to save you? Who thinks that they have to earn Christ's love, Buddha's love? That they have to earn my love? I gave love, you see. Everything that I own, I gave. Through stars, through sun, through moon, through light, through nature, through human, through being, through every single thing. Wind, fire, water. Soul. 
spirit. I gave you my spirit, my nature, I give you everything. And you think you have to work hard to prove to me that you want more. Heaven. Well, I'm sorry, my friends, this is heaven. When you feel insufferi insuf insuf insignificant, inferior, it has to be hell. You've got to work at it. I bet you God says, whoever wrote those Ten Commandments is going to come here and they are going to get that. Live freely, you see. Live freely, compassionately, kind, full, -y. giving, yeah, loving, offering, worshiping, you see, each other <laughs> equally. Worshiping means if you can't worship yourself as much as Christ, you're doomed. If you can't worship the priest, if you can't worship the minister, if you can't worship the Jeduah prophet, all the same as you, <laughs> this has all been wasted. You don't say, I am Christ. You say, Christ is my friend. I love Christ as much as Christ loves me. I can't see any difference between a form and a spirit and a soul because everything is uniquely one. Everything is uniquely whole. Everything is uniquely all. Take Christ's words. He gave them to you as a friend. Not as a superior son of God, like the book misinterprets. He was a pilgrim on a path, trying to tell everyone, you're the same. And together, we can go home. Together, we can be one. Together, we can become whole. And we put him on the cross. And he becomes superior. You go on the cross tomorrow. You're not going to be secondary. And you're not going to be superior. You're going to be in the same position. As another simple being. With a heart. Do you have a heart? Are you heartless? Are you compassionate? Are you kind? Do you have to work hard? Do you have to pray? Do you have to go to church and worship and feel, my God, if only, if only I could be the same? You are the same. All is same. <laughs> These words may offend many religious people. Why? Everything is love. If you're religious and you deny this, get your shovel, your spade out and dig and continue to worship. Continue to be the slave. Equally, we're all slaves to God. Yeah? Even Christ was a slave to God. Even Christ was not saved by God. Yeah? Even Buddha, Shiva, Ramana, Ram. All slaves to God. But that's okay, you see, because we're all the same slave. We all get out into this world, into this workplace and we dig and we push and we operate and we investigate and we do everything for God. I could be negative and say it's for money. Namaste.